Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is about a new space company that has been wowing people with its novel idea, addressing that age old problem that we've discussed many times on this channel, space debris. How to deal with it, where it should go, and how to make sure that it doesn't hurt anybody else. And one UK startup thinks that they might have the solution. So this British startup is called MagDrive, and they claim that they have developed a satellite that uses solid metal as a source of fuel. And they realized what this could mean for the space debris problem. Its founder says that one day it could even be used to clean up space junk by gobbling up dead satellites and using them for propulsion. I think I'm in love. According to CNN, the company came up with a propulsion system, dubbed Warlock, that ionizes solid metal instead of current electric systems that generate power by ionizing pressurized gas. The Warlock uses a metal propellant and recharged internal energy to create a high energy plasma. And the goal is to balance efficiency with power output. MagDrive founder Mark Stokes said, Chemical propulsion has a very high thrust, but it's efficiency, or its miles per gallon, if you like, is very poor. On the other hand, electric propulsion systems these days have the complete opposite characteristics. They have very low thrust, but excellent efficiency, excellent miles per gallon. He added, we're building the first system of its kind that has the best of both worlds. It is electric propulsion, but it has a magnitude improvement in thrust with a magnitude reduction in volume and mass. While their system, which can use cheap and widely available copper as an energy source, isn't refuelable just yet, the company is hoping to eventually be able to use the metal from retired satellites and space junk as fuel. In other words, it would be a super clever solution to our growing space junk problem. Another benefit to Warlock is that the amount of weight that would need to be launched into space could be significantly reduced as the system wouldn't need to lug its own propellant from Earth. Now, obviously all of this sounds amazing, but as of right now, it is still entirely hypothetical. MagDrive was only founded in 2019 and they announced a couple of months ago that they have raised ten and a half million dollars and opened a US office right here in Los Angeles. Their focus right now seems to be primarily on the MagDrive Rogue, a compact high thrust electric propulsion system for satellites and spacecraft in LEO. And for that, they are already in a testing phase. The MagDrive Rogue thruster is scheduled to launch on Deorbit's Ion satellite carrier in June 2025. But Stokes says that Warlock is basically just a souped up version of the Rogue and he thinks that Warlock will be ready for testing as early as next year. 2026. Stoke says that the benefit of all of this is that we'll be able to close the loop on the new space age economy by using resources that are already there. And some scientists do remain a bit skeptical on how exactly they will be able to capture these satellites turned fuel. After all, the capturing part could prove to be the most difficult. University of Southampton associate professor in astronautics, Min Kwan Kim, who has worked with the firm, says decommissioned satellites are un uncontrollable and often tumbling, making retrieval extremely difficult. Capturing and securing them requires complex maneuvering, a technology still in its infancy. But when MagDrive launches Warlock for the first time, it won't go for old space junk immediately. Instead, it'll attempt to ionize solid metal simply as a proof of concept. Stokes says, we're building a standardized piece of hardware which can fit on board any satellite. So pretty much anyone in the entire space space industry. This includes a variety of different applications from Earth observation to satellite servicing to communications. And another hiccup to this technology is that even if Warlock does work, even if it does capture a satellite, eat a satellite, use the satellite as propellant, there might be another problem. Because ionizing metal comes with its own risks. Ionizing the metal can change its structure or contaminate the system, reducing the performance. And due to the possibility of surface contamination, the system's overall performance could degrade 
very quickly. Scientists speculate that the metal itself could have its atomic crystal structures altered, which could also affect how well it performs. But Stokes seems to really believe in the possibilities for Warlock. In an interview with TechCrunch, he said that Warlock could mean that spacecraft operators could use electric propulsion for entirely new classes of missions without having to resort to heavier and more expensive chemical thrusters. As Stokes put it, it will allow his company to eat the electric propulsion market for breakfast and then come for the chemical propulsion's lunch. Did Mark Stokes just throw down? I feel like he just threw down. But listen, hypothetical or not, it's a fascinating concept that one day may be able to really help us with a very big, very real problem. There is thought to be over a hundred million pieces of space debris of varying sizes. And we all know that we are not creating less space debris with all of these launches. Stokes seems to really believe that MagDrive will create a new space age economy. He said, we want to utilize the resources we already have in orbit instead of taking even more fuel from Earth. Which I think is really the appealing part to all of us, this potential reframing of the the enormous problem of space debris and turning it into a kind of huge oil reserve for a brand new propulsion system. It's kind of amazing. Also, their website is hilarious. In their About Us, it says, we are the catalyst for humanity to become a space-faring civilization. We're also as passionate about dungeons and dragons. And when you scroll to the bottom, we gotta get on board, space nerds. These guys know who they are and they're not afraid to put it out there. But jokes aside, the real advancement of MagDrive is that they see themselves and their advanced propulsion system as a kind of infrastructure that will enable the space industry's continued growth in the coming years. Rogue and Warlock are designed to be reusable, using metals like aluminum and copper, which can be found in space. Mark Stokes says, we can use the materials that are already in space to fuel the mag drive as its propellant, whereas everybody else, chemical and electrical, across the entire range of things, has to bring their fuel from Earth every single time. He added, it's like building a new train every time you leave the train station. You don't build railroads that way. Which for his vision is a pretty good analogy, but of course all of this will simply depend on does the thing work? And that we will be able to tell with time. So as always, I will keep an eye on these guys. I couldn't really find a trailer for their company, like I normally can for these newer space companies, which kind of made me sad because their website's so funny. I was like, oh, what's the trailer gonna be like? But couldn't find it. So what do you guys think of this satellite eating propulsion system? Is it too good to be true? Is it too easy an answer for our space debris problem? Or could it be the real deal? Or maybe we combine Japan's wooden satellites with this satellite eating tech and then we just have the greeniest green space industry of all time. Maybe? Stop dreaming, Marion. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.